Let me know in the comment section. But I hope we had a great start to the week. We had beautiful weather again today. Live look from our new Thurman Dam Cam. How about that view over Clark's Hill? Gorgeous conditions right now. We have mostly clear skies. Temperatures are comfortable and we continued our cool streak today. You actually have to go back to this time last week before we actually saw a high temperature above average for us here in Augusta. So 84 officially this afternoon. We're going to hang on to temperatures below average the rest of the week. Um, expecting high temps to stay here 83 tomorrow, dropping a little bit as we close out the work week into the first part of the weekend. Even into Sunday should stay uh, about three to five degrees below normal for this time of year. So gorgeous out there for us. Current temperatures 70, 74 right now being reported at Bush Field. And we have mostly clear skies, which is good news because we actually have a pretty cool uh, thing to check out in the night sky tonight. We actually have the uh, a brief little pass of the Starlink satellite chain. So these are launched by SpaceX. They help provide internet to rural spots across the world. And uh, really cool to see these in action because they only stay visible two to three nights after launch and they turn the reflectors off. Um, so they're only visible for certain times right after lunch. And tonight's one of those. The max height about 34 degrees, not necessarily the highest. Um, we've seen these pass overhead, so it may be a little bit difficult to see in a few spots. You really just want to make sure you have a good clear view of that northern sky and that's going to be your best opportunity to see it. Remember this will only last four minutes and you're most likely only really going to be able to see it the best right towards the tail end as it's kind of exiting out of that northern sky. So keep your eyes peeled. We'd love to see pictures and videos of it later tonight. If you got it, you can send that through. You can send that through our first alert weather app or submit them through our website. Our low temperatures tonight going to be uh, down to the 50s again. We got down to 56 this morning at Bushfield. Should be a similar start to our Wednesday morning. Comfortable start, nice finish, high temps, below average for us again tomorrow. Anywhere from around 82 to 84 for most spots out there Wednesday afternoon. We are staying rain free uh, for the next several days. It's later this weekend. Maybe we could see a stray shower sa uh, Saturday. This is going to be highly dependent on where an area of low pressure forms off the southeast coast. So this is actually the latest from the National Hurricane Center. They're going with this about a 30% chance of developing into a named system over the next seven days. So right now we're really looking between Friday and Saturday uh, for that potential for it to develop. And since the National Hurricane Center is going 0% over the next two days, uh, that kind of leads us to believe that most likely not going to be a tropical system in nature, maybe subtropical. Uh, but nonetheless, could bring some impacts to the immediate coastline across the southeast. Here's a look at our two different uh, longer range models. So the GFS model on the left, European model on the right. The GFS model develops, it's a little, uh, develops that low a little bit faster and pushes it north faster as well. So if this model verifies, not really expecting much rain Saturday, um, possibly north of I-20, but really minimal rainfall. The European model keeps that area of low pressure a little bit closer to the Georgia coast. And if that plays out, that would be enough to maybe squeeze out a few inland showers, uh, mainly for the eastern CSRA, but enough to maybe potentially impact our Saturday. Not expecting uh, anything other than the chance for rain from this. Maybe it gets a little bit breezy at times Friday into Saturday as this system's developing, but not going to bring us um, a major storm conditions or anything like that. Here's the way it's playing out our in-house model. So our in-house model goes all the way out to uh, Friday afternoon, and it, it is picking up on this system developing off the southeastern coastline. So here's a look at what it's uh, kind of looking like by Thursday around midday. And then as it starts to interact with those very warm ocean temperatures just off the Georgia coast, it will likely continue to develop, get stronger, maybe provide some pretty breezy conditions uh, for the CSRA Friday just on the backside of that system. So a pretty steady north northeast flow. Uh, where maybe we could see some gusts over 20 miles an hour. Nothing significant though. Um, you can see the, the majority of the rain definitely going to be uh, near the coastline, closer to the I-95 corridor, and especially up towards uh, the Outer Banks of North Carolina. So looks like they're going to see the brunt of this storm, but potentially enough, maybe we could see a shower to Saturday. Not really anything that looks to be a huge impact though to where I would say you need to cancel everything you planned outside. I think we'll be okay for the most part, but that's really the big uh, thing on the horizon we're looking at next in the forecast. Here's our seven day. So uh, nice and pleasant. Waking up below average, afternoon highs below average. It's not until next week we actually get highs back above 85 degrees. So next Monday, Tuesday, it will get a little bit warmer for us. But until then, it's going to feel like fall. And we actually have the first official day of fall 
on Saturday. That is when the fall equinox does occur, when the sun is just directly over the equator and it brings roughly the same amount of night and day to the entire globe. So equinox is Latin for equal nights. Um, so just kind of the time of year to where everyone kind of has similar sunsets and sunrises across the globe. Uh, but other than that, nice weather on tap. We're doing pretty good in the weather department right now. So hopefully you all enjoy it and we'll continue to watch that system off the coast over the next few days.